Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So the last option that is remaining is the delete user option. So let's code this thing in this video. And we have the API ready for delete user and it is a delete call. So come back to your project and when we will click on the button delete, we will call a method delete user. Okay. And then we will create the method private void delete user then here we will create an alert dialog to take the confirmation from the user that the user wants to delete the profile so let's create an alert dialog now we will set the title to are you sure this action is irreversible then we will set a positive button to this builder if user will say yes we will delete the profile or account and if user will say no we will do nothing then we will create the alert dialog using the builder dot create and we will display the alert dialog so we have our alert dialog inside the yes we will delete the user so let's create another call which is again a form url encoded no this time it is not a form url encoded it is just a delete request and we have the endpoint as uh, what was the endpoint? Delete user slash ID. So right here, delete user, and then we have ID as a URL path. Then we will define a call, and what is the response? Response is error and message, the default response. So we will again use the default response, delete user. And here we have a path that has the value id and we will pass the user id here so we have the call come back to settings fragment and here if the user selects yes we will delete the user so let's create a call here with default response and we will get it from retrofit client get api and then delete user and here we need to pass the user id and we can get the user id from shared preferences we have the user now here we will pass user dot get id fine then we will do call nq now here we will check if response dot body dot is err if there isn't any error we will we will clear the shared preferences as well and we will do the same thing that we are doing while logging out but this time we will open the main activity from where user can register fine and we will also display a toast with the message. Here we need to write response dot body dot get message, not message. So we have our delete user completed as well. Let's test it. This is the database and this is our application. Let's click on login and the email is imbilalkhan at the rate gmail.com and the password is astfgh. Click on login and I am logged in. Go to settings, click on delete profile. It is asking for confirmation. Click on yes and the profile is 
deleted. Let's check the database. You can see the record is deleted. So it is working fine. So guys, we have done with all the operations, create, read, update and delete. So that's all for this video friends. You can get the source code from the link given in the description of this video. And if you have any question, please leave that in the comment section below. And I hope you liked this series. So if you liked it, please hit on the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this series with your friends who are learning Android application development. Thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan. I will see you in the next video.